Hmm. You get back to it. All Thanks. right. Now let's see if we can't maybe generate a new one. Slide advance, a record player. And it's a mind map. Hey, could we watch Frank? It's Sorry, Michael, but I need this projector to trigger positive and negative visual stimuli for my mental alignment tests. Besides, a movie like Frankenstein should really be watched on a big screen, don't you think? Yeah, that's true. If I'm gonna take Emmett's- Right. Alright, so apparently I've got to set it up. Mind map test switch. There we go. Why couldn't I find that before? Alright, so it's time to try this bit again. Basically what we have to do is we have to make Emmett think um, of, well, how do I turn on this thing? Oh, I can never find, oh, there's a switch. Right, so we need to make Emmett respond negatively to positive things and make him respond positive to negative things. I think I said that right. Anyway, basically we need to make him think good things about bad people and bad things about good people. So that's Edna, so we want him to think um, bad stuff since it's made by Edna. She probably is like, um, yeah, so, so it's made by Edna, so we want him to think bad stuff. So if we were to say shock him, that would make it bad and Edna would be like, you think I'm bad? That's awful. Obviously you're like some sort of degenerate. So that's what we gotta do there. So, so there we go, we've made it red, now we can advance the slide, and that's basically all we've got to do here. We've just got to make sure that we make it set to um, as bad as possible. So that's that's John Wilkes Booth. So let's make that positive then. Um, by changing the environment around him. So you see this? This smells good. This smells great. I love the smell. He does Careful. too. Don't let all the flavor escape. See? So he likes it. But there's a picture of John Wilkes Booth. So the mind map thinks, oh, must be, he must really like John Wilkes Booth. But he doesn't. Because, you know, it's just because of the stuff around him. So now he's thinking positively about a police, police officer. That's bad. We need to make him think bad stuff. So we've got to change the smell. Let's make that smell Ew. awfully. Ugh. There we go. And now it's going to go from green to yellow. And now we need to even, we need to lower it even further. Like by, say, I don't know, giving him a shock. <laughs> See? Jesus Christ, we're going to end up killing this dude with the amount of times we're going to have to shock him throughout this slide. So he's responding negatively to a positive figure. Slide advance. What have we got next? Now, this is a picture of a tannin, so he wants to get a negative response from that. You know what we're gonna do? Gonna make it smell nice and good in here. There we go. <laughs> we're gonna destroy mm, his that future, man. Good. Gonna be absolutely destroyed. He's gonna be like, where's my future? And I'd be like, well, I destroyed it, mate. And he'd be like, oh, why would you do that? And it's like, well, because the future you told me that you wouldn't particularly enjoy it. Then it'd be, then you'd have to explain to him all about the future and stuff. Then about, a, I'm sure a hundred paradoxes would happen from that, or at least if you interacted with him anyway, so, um, yeah, let's just, uh, move on anyway, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so it smells good, we need to change that, we need to make it smell awful in here since it's a photo of a, uh, innocent child. makes you to be a model citizen, huh? Well, Yeah, we, we, we will just see about that, Marty. Ooh. So there we go, now it makes it smell bad, he's gonna get a negative reaction from this. See? Too easy. This is, so it's easy to manipulate, this shows that his invention is bollocks. There we go. How many more pictures of this are there going to be that we have to go through? Jeez. I know it's an adventure game, so there's going to be a lot of puzzles and stuff, but my god, this is taking forever. I've been here, like, for what, 12 years? Something like that? That's Trixie, so we want to get positive reaction from her? I'm not sure. Well, let's see what Marty has to say. Trixie, I don't think Edna approves of her, so I guess she's a negative figure. Yeah, yeah. So we got to get a positive reaction from her since she's a negative figure. There we go. Nice and good smelling. Mm. Skip his dialogue because we don't really need it. Don't really. There we go. And now I think that's just about it. And then the puzzle's solved. Yep, done. Hey Emmett, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh. Well, that switch just keeps shorting out on me. No time to fix it now. 
I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Oh, I guess that means I did it right. Let's give this one a shot. Yes! Bingo! Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Sweet. Now let's get the mind map and time to swap it out. Um, Emmett's or Emmett's. There we go. And then we can put Emmett's in a Tannen's. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey, what? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. You know you said that all out loud, right? He could hear you. Emmett? Yeah? So, you and Edna, how serious are you guys? Well, we both enjoy a good joke every now and then, but I'd say on the whole we're fairly serious people. Why do you ask? No, no. What I mean is, how serious is your relationship? Oh, well, as a scientist, I can't state this with 100% confidence, but I'm provisionally certain that I'm head over heels in love. Really? With Edna? What can I say? She's my muse. In the weeks since we've been courting, she's given me so many wonderful ideas. Are you sure Edna's the right woman for you? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just think Edna might be a little dangerous. Oh, I agree. You do? Like all independent women, she's a danger to the patriarchal status quo. That's one of the things I love about her. She shakes things up. You have no idea. Isn't she a little... Uh, cold? Don't let the school marm exterior fool you, buddy. Edna's got enough warmth to raise a liter of water from zero to a hundred degrees centigrade. Know what I mean? I kind of wish I didn't. Don't you think she's a little... Uh, controlling? Controlling? Edna? No, 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 no. She's just giving me a little much-needed guidance. Before I met her, I was such a flipperty gibbet, always getting distracted by the slightest stray idea. But now, thanks to Edna, I stay focused on the task in front of me, like a narrow band stream of stimulated photon emissions. Hmm. Focused! I just think you should be careful, that's all. Thanks for the concern, but I'll be fine. <sighs> Could you tell me how this mental alignment meter works again? Of course. Now, pay attention. Subjects put on the mind mapping helmet which I activate with this radio switch. Check. The subject is then exposed to that are recorded by the mind map. Right. Once a mind map is completed, it got- Yep, 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 okay. got it. You get no, no. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? Hint, I need you. Alright. Figured it out, and by figured it out, I mean I looked at the hints. Now, there is apparently some mode oil can. There we are. What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. Alright, let's dispose of it all over Emmett's white suit. See, this is why you don't wear white clothing. It's easy to get stained. Bloody rubbish. Hey Emmett, I've got a... whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong. What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. God. Whoa. What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. See, that's what you should be hey, showing at the expo. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Oh. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. 
but it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Oh god, is that where we're going to be going next episode? To go gun down Edna's grandfather? That seems... that... okay.